Ball don't lie, neither do I. Welcome back to the Mish Monster Sports Channel, where today we are going to be covering why Paul Pierce is one of the least respected NBA Hall of Famers. There is a reason that Paul Pierce is no longer employed as an analyst on any of these network shows. He has no credibility. He comes off like a clown. Look no further than his most recent comments about the Miami Heat acquiring Damian Lillard. He said Miami trading for Dame will stop them from getting out of the first round of the playoffs. What the hell is he talking about? There's absolutely no universe where Damian Lillard joins his team and they get worse. If you think there is, then you're clearly discounting the type of generational talent that Damian has been throughout his entire career. There is not a trio in the league, with the exception of the Golden State Warriors, that would complement each other better than Dame going to Miami and playing alongside Jimmy and Bam. The extreme take that they won't even get out of the first round, I'm not sure if Paul was too busy wiping his Celtics tears to watch that Miami Heat team play with some dudes who were undrafted and basically played in Siberia most of their career. There were games throughout that playoff run where Caleb Martin, Gabe Vincent, Max Struess were taking over the game and in some quarters were the best players on the floor. Although those guys have moved on, you're going to tell me that you don't believe in Pat Riley and Eric Spolstra to supplement the loss of those guys after they found them in the first place? I'm calling Paul Pierce a fraud on this. Once again, he says things that are so delusional and so clear that there's emotion wrapped up in it as like a salty Boston Celtics fan. I think it's time to call out this pattern that has just been driving me completely nuts for as long as he's been retired. It seems like he doesn't take this seriously. It seems like he thinks everything is a joke and he's extremely biased, unlike other players who are actually really hard on their former teams and expect better from them. He's, he's making asinine picks that put the Boston Celtics at the top of the food chain. And we just know that right now, Boston hasn't made any moves that's gonna put them over the top of anyone else in the East. They acquire Kristaps Porzingis, which did not address any of the issues that they've had. When legends like Kareem, Scottie Pippen, Steven Jackson, when they talk to the media and they have opinions on things, they don't get clowned on Twitter. They don't get made fun of by everyday people because they respect them. These guys don't go around spewing garbage, playing games. And that's what Paul is doing here. He said something so egregious that it has to now get attention and he'll be relevant for, you know, the next 48 hours. Appreciate you watching. Let's hope that Paul Pierce doesn't speak again for until the season starts because I can't stand it when he opens his mouth. See you soon.